there are three levels to hearing the voice of God. The first level is while you were yet sinners. The second level is Jesus says, my sheep know my voice. And the third level, that's way, way deep. That's the place of intimacy. That's when you learn to know the very heart and the thoughts of God. Let's have a look at that first level. In Romans 5 verse 8, it says, while you were yet sinners, he loved you. My brothers and sisters, just consider, before you gave your life to Jesus Christ, the gospel of Jesus came to you. The gospel of the word of the Lord, the, the kingdom of God came to you. While you were yet a sinner, the Lord was speaking to you. You might not have discerned it so much as a voice of God, but God spoke to you. Just remember Nebuchadnezzar having that dream. In that dream, very, very clearly, God spoke to him. And non-believers are convicted by the Holy Spirit from their sin while they are yet sinners. The Lord loves you so much that while you were a, while you were a sinner, he spoke to you continuously. Then you heard his voice and you responded appropriately. Wow, that's amazing. But then John 27, 10, 27, John 10, 27, my sheep know my voice. Matthew 6, 33 says, seek first the kingdom of God. And you know, in seeking first the kingdom of God, you learn to hear the voice of the good shepherd. You learn to hear what his desire is. And his desire is that all your senses be opened up. Your touch, your sight, your feeling, everything around you be enlightened and awakened to his precious, precious presence. I believe that right now the Lord is wanting to download to you a passion to hear the voice of the Good Shepherd more than ever before. What happens is familiarity, just like a bit of laziness creeps in. So what happens is we like get clogged up in our ears, dust comes over our eyes, we become we become numb to the presence of God, the word of the Lord, and that's where we lose out. And we don't enter into the third, the highest level. You know, the word of the Lord says, I know the thoughts I have for you, says the Lord. God has got thoughts for you. You see, it's, it's, it's elementary, it's simple stuff to know the voice of the good shepherd. All the sheep know the voice of the good shepherd, but it brings maturity to come to the place and intimacy to come to the place where you know the very thoughts of God. Now, in, we look at this in 2 Kings 2 verse 9. Remember the story of Elijah and Elisha and the handing over of the mantle and the double anointing stuff? That's it. What did the prophet say to the other prophet? If you see me when I go, he had to tag to everything. He had to be there for everything. And it was at that point when he saw him depart, it was at that depth of intimacy, a download came where he knew the very, very heart of his mentor. And I believe that the Lord wants to draw you deep. James says, draw near to me and I will draw near to you. My brothers and sisters, hearing the voice of God, knowing the very heart of God is all about intimacy. And maturity demands intimacy. In maturity is not about the length of your relationship with God. It's about the depth of your relationship with God being devoted to God, consecration and separation. I want to pray with you right now that the Lord will move you from, from, from the place where you are to a place of absolute intimacy with him, where you will learn to know the very thoughts of God and you will hear his heartbeat. Father God, will you come and do a miracle? Do it this day, Lord God. Father, come and draw us into the deepest, deepest places with you. Thank you, Father, that that your hand is upon us to take us deeper and deeper and deeper yet with you in Jesus' name. Draw us into the place of absolute intimacy. Thank you, Lord God, that you do this now. Release, release a passion for your presence. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.